What's up, my kings and beauty queens? How are my brothers and sisters doing? I pray to God that everybody's doing well in the name of Jesus, but we know that it's not always the case. It's some people out here who is going through something, who got a mountain they're trying to get over. So I just pray to God that he heal those. He give them a speed of recovery. He make them as comfortable as possible. That's my prayer in the name of Jesus. As always, I got to thank my A1s for rocking with me from day one. I appreciate you guys so much. I truly do. I thank the new subscribers and I thank the viewers. I thank y'all so much because at the end of the day, if it weren't for you all hit and subscribe, my channel would not be growing. So I appreciate you all so very much. So I'm going to get on to what I'm going to be talking about. And it's going to be that live video that um Rosalind was invited to and she came and um she came in and she showed out she came and she showed out and i know the women and men was on that live saying what they had to say before she came so i was trying to figure out why she came so strong so i said well maybe she was hearing what they were saying and um she came in a tight mode because soon as she came in it was like bees and um here i go um it was like so aggressive and then once she started the bees then everybody started with the bees you know then i was hearing her say your mama um just all a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff like broke you could never be what she is all love them on the on the platform could never be what she at you know it was a lot of uh pride you know a lot of pride you know and you gotta be careful with that kind of pride because pride come before fall you know, just hum yourself. Wherever you at, hey, you you there. Whatever your subscribers at, you there. But you got to be humble. Ross, you have to be humble. You know, and it's like um, all those subscribers is making you to be a mean girl. You know, it seems like the more subscribers you get, the more of a villain. That's what I'm seeing. Because... In the beginning, I didn't see all that. In the beginning, she, uh, Rosalind was not how she is. You know, it's like someone who was bullied in school and they end up going to the gym and got real big, a whole bunch of muscles, and then they start attacking those who attack them. That's what I see. I see someone who I don't picture acting like that. When she came on, I did not, did not know that she was going to come on that scrum. And so what I wished would have happened, because I would have loved to see, hear their feedback. So it would have been interesting if they would have been given like a three minute and mute the other people while one person talked, because it was all over the place. And I was like trying to listen to everything because it's not normal that the person who is on the opposite side to come on somebody live and so when she actually came and stopped doing the comments i was like okay this is going to be interesting and then bam it was b i'm here b here i go here i go and it's like wait a minute now we ain't gonna go nowhere with this and sure enough nothing got proved you know, we heard a lot of stuff being said, but nothing got solved. Nothing got solved. You know, she said something about the videos, um, and then other lady said it was okay to do it. So it's like, calm down. You know, you coming on somebody's platform, just at least calm down. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I believe that uh, Rosalind need to humble herself. You know, at the end of the day, she was saying that um, something about their content. They need to get their own content. But at the end of the day, Ra's whole content is of one person, the majority. The majority is of one person. So when she said, get your own content, I think that she was talking too fast. And she really was not understanding and hearing what was coming out of her mouth. 
because you know it's like did you did you just say that you know did you just say get your own content so some things when you argue and you don't sit back and listen to what you say sometimes it don't make sense because that part did not make sense you know so it was a lot of going on but what Rosalind need to know what Rosalind truly need to know is that when you build your house and when I'm saying your house that means your platform you have to build it on solid ground you truly do you have to build it on a solid ground because what you give is what you're going to get. And the Bible don't lie when they say you reap what you sow. The Bible said you reap what you sow. And now the type that she's getting from a lot of people is because what you gave, what you built your platform on is karma. Everybody's attacking you now. It's a boomerang effect. It's coming back at you. It is not a good feeling. So imagine how you feeling, Roz. Imagine how you feeling. That is what you was giving other people. And it's not funny when the rabbit got the gun. It's not funny now. You mad. You big mad. You can't say you're not mad because it shows. It shows. So, you know, humility is, is very powerful. Pride is powerful. But pride is negative. You don't want so much pride where you can just say, look where I am. Look at my home. Look at my lifestyle. Look at my channel. Because all money is not good money. All subscribers is not good subscribers. You know, so you got to really humble yourself. And see, and the thing is, it's so easy to do. All you have to do is spend some time looking at your own videos. And ask yourself, do I want somebody to treat my family like I'm treating this person? And as I said on all of my videos, the majority of my videos, when I speak on uh, Rosalind and your girl, I always spoke about people delivery. I always spoke about people delivery. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's how you say it. And if somebody going to take advice from someone like you, Rosalind, they're not going to even let it get near them. They're not going to even want to hear it because the delivery is too harsh. It's too hard. It's too mean. When you say you're trying to help somebody and show them the way, show them the light, it's going to become dim. Just go back and listen at your videos. Every day, not every day, your videos, all the videos is of your girl. And then the latest is of some other people. Like I say, you have to put yourself in other shoes, other people's shoes. That's what I do. When I'm at work. When I'm around my children, when I'm around other people, when I hear certain things, when I see certain things, I always put myself in those people's shoes. 
You will never know what somebody going through if you don't mentally put yourself in, that sh in their shoes and say, what would I do if I was in that situation? What would I do? You know, and I asked myself, how could a person do some things that they do? I don't know how, well, I'm going to say it like this. I couldn't. I got to speak for myself. I couldn't do what you're doing. And I understand that you're doing it because your numbers are definitely going up. It really is. But I just dislike and think it's very distasteful of how the number's going up. Because I'm the type of person, if I'm going to receive something financially, uh, receive some type of praise, I want that praise to be on something that I did good, something that I did positive. You know, because it seemed like to me that it wasn't for a good cause. It, it'd be like, well, I did get praise for it. I did get money for it. But look what you had to do to get money and praise. And a lot of people come on people's channels is to be nosy. So, just because some people have a lot of subscribers, that definitely don't mean that that person is likable. It don't mean that that person is likable. Even the people who is defending Roz may not like what she doing. Because nobody can tell me if she did that to their family, that they would be proud of her. And they'll say, oh, it's okay. Nobody can't tell me that. It's nobody who she subscribed to who say that they like her. It's no way that they'll say she can do my family like that. The, 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 uh, what she probably saying, and I can't speak for everything she say, some things she probably saying, other people probably be saying, well, yeah, she could be right. Yeah, she may be right. But it's that darn delivery. It's, it, it's the laughter after the correction. That's just like if I'm going to a counselor and I'm going through something, I got something going on, and I'm sitting down there, counselor bullying me, laughing at me. I'd be like, oh, I'm getting up out of here. But if that counselor is showing compassion and listening to me and trying to figure out why I do what I do, then that's somebody who I wouldn't mind taking advice from. But what Ross got going on, no, 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 no. Nobody cannot tell me that that is right. And I know a lot of people say that they love her and it's true I love her I don't even know her I love her I just dislike what she does so when you hear people putting them seeing the, the purple hearts hey people have to love the unlovable you have to it's in the Bible to love your enemies let God deal with them, but in the meantime, love your enemies and let God deal with them. You know, because like I said, it's, it's going to be a sad thing, you know, when karma, reaping what you sow, that boomer, boomerang effect come back and hit you. It's not going to be good. And it's, I don't know what's going. And, I, and like I tell everybody in all of my videos to pray for anybody who got something going on. Things that, uh, when people have a condition in their bodies, they don't just have a condition just one day and it just appear. If somebody is sick and becomes sick, something been manifesting, something been happening in their body way before they got di diagnosed. 
So that's why I always say pray for people. Even pray for me. Pray for me. Rosalind need prayer. All the other women need prayer. My family need prayer. Your family need prayer. Everyone need prayer. And when I seen, I kept wondering why Rosalind kept doing this with her shirt. I seen something like a big band-aid. I seen something like a big uh, band-aid. And so, like I said, we don't know what's going on with people. And so if it is something that's going on with Rosalind, I pray that she calm down and not make any kind of things she got going on with her worse. We don't want to claim illness on anybody. But what she said after COVID, if she had COVID, some things she was speaking on, I'm not going to continue to speak on it. She said what she said. I'm going to leave it at that. But at the end of the day, Rosalind, you need to humble yourself. You need to take away that pride that you have. You see your numbers going up. Now you the baddest thing in the world. Calm down. Calm down. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. But like I said, and I'm going to end this on this note, what I would love to see, because she already came on there once, she might come again. I would love to see a conversation with all the people who was on there. Everybody who was on there. Ocean. I think her name is Sharonda. India. Sorry that I didn't see all the other people name who was on there. My apologies. But everybody who was on that platform was very intelligent women and men. Very intelligent. But we can't hear anything when you're going back and forth. You know, people say, I hear you. You hear me, but are you listening? You couldn't listen to everything because you're trying to, and I'm telling the whole thing, I'm like this. I'm like this, trying to listen to everybody talking at one time. So like I say, again, if they come on, I just uh, pray that people is giving minutes, at least two minutes, three minutes, four minutes to speak their piece. Let somebody else talk for four minutes. Let somebody else talk. Let somebody else talk one at a time. Because that would have been very interesting if everybody would have been talking one at a time. One at a time. And before I end this um, video, I got to say this. Women... Women who once was close and still is close from what I've seen, that it was apologies being made. We have to stick together as women. We have to stick together as women. Please do not beef with one another. Do not give people what they want. People want to see division. People want to see division, believe it or not. At the end of the day, you guys, when you look at these channels, the majority of the channels is continuing to grow based on a lot of, I'm not going to go there. I, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave it alone. But with that being said, everybody, can we all just get along? Can we all see a do-over with that live with Ross on there? Could we do a do-over? Could you all bring Ross back on that show with the same people on there and do a do-over? Giving each person a couple of minutes to say what they have to say and give the other person um, time to respond. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. So with that being said, everybody, I love you. Continue to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all so much. Share my video, like, and definitely leave a comment. With that being said, everybody, mwah, peace out.